Good morning and welcome to the Saber Roar. I'm Race. And I'm Jesse. Today we have a boatload of news stories for you, including Multicultural Club, the Physics Field Trip, Student Uproar Winners, and our new segment, Pros vs. Joes. We are also bringing back the Hidden Saber. Watch carefully in the newscast so you can find the Hidden Saber in the stories or segments. The first person to email us at thesaberroar at franklinsabers.org will get a free Saber Roar Super Fan t-shirt, which comes in a variety of sizes. Recently, students at FHS have been giving others a closer look into their cultural background. The FHS Multicultural Club is all about developing cultural awareness and understanding. Groups of students give presentations on a wide variety of aspects of their respective cultures. You get to explore things like dance, language, um, food, uh, activities, festivals, stuff like that. More recently, India gave a presentation that included a show of traditional dress and delicious Indian food. NCC meetings are held at room C218 at 245, usually on Wednesdays. You can come in anytime and enjoy some food and learn about uh, cultures around the world. And it's different every single week. Listen to the announcements for upcoming Multicultural Club presentations. In January, students got the chance to escape the classroom and apply what they learned in the real world. The FHS physics classes recently took a trip to the Rock Complex in Franklin, where they spent the day snow tubing. The goal of the trip was to allow students a chance to better understand motion, acceleration, gravity, force, and other concepts discussed in class. While going down the hill, students recorded observations of various measurements like time and distance to then perform calculations on those numbers. All in all, students had a great time and were able to gain a better understanding of physics concepts. It's great to see students applying what they learn and having fun at the same time. It's time to honor two students who have been nominated for Uproar winners. I know who you are. I know what you want. If you are looking for a reward, I can tell you that's what you'll get. But what you already have are a very particular set of skills. Skills you have acquired over a very long high school career. Skills that make you a daydream for people like me. If you don't continue this behavior, that'll be the end of it. I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. But if you do, I will look for you, and I will find you, and I will nominate you. For this week's Up Ward winner, I nominate Evie in my Weight Training 1 class for helping out with an injured student a couple weeks ago. Thank you very much. He told me that when he received his first quarter grades, he realized that in order to succeed, he would have to do better, and he has. And that was the reason why I nominated Austin Johnson. You're a hard worker at school. You keep improving every day. You're a kind and caring person. You play like a champion. Nice work, Austin and Evie. Franklin has many star athletes and competitors. Two young men, Connor and Tyler, have made it their mission to challenge all of them in their new segment, Pros vs. Joes. Now introducing the Saber Roar's second season of FHS Pros vs. Joes. In this season, Connor and I will take on athletes throughout the school and challenge them in their own sports. As the Joes, we will most likely have little to no experience in these sports. From baseball to chess and every sport in between, we will challenge these athletes and see how good they really are. Stay tuned to see the first episode of Season 2 of Pros vs. Joes! Welcome to the first edition of FHS Pros vs. Joes. In this segment, myself and my partner Tyler will be taking on FHS's own elite athletes and their respective sports. Today, Tyler will be scoring off against Walter, one of FHS's most well-known, versatile, and lethal chess players. So Tyler, how do you feel about your chances? I'm um, feeling pretty good. Definitely never lost a game of chess before. So. That's probably because you've never played a real game of chess before. That, yeah, that's probably why I did. How do you feel about your chances? It's going to be his first loss on the score sheet. And now we're back with guest commentator and FHS math teacher, Mr. Wiedenhoff. Do you have any predictions? Well, I think this is going to be a beatdown to the level of the 19-3 Savoy Theater in London match uh, between Gary Kasparov and Nigel Short, in which Gary Kasparov won an epic contest 6-1. to one. And, and really, in the chess world, Connor, 
that's quite a beatdown. And I really think this is going to go in the favor of Walter today. He's had epic training from one of the best coaches in the country, and that would be me. But really, I'm just in it for the paycheck, so who really cares what's going to happen here? All right, so we got a little bit of history lesson there. So with that, I'm pretty sure we're ready to start. Good luck. <laughs> Tyler with his first move. They both made identical moves, I'm pretty sure. Is that correct? Well, this is a reverse uh, Sicilian in the English attack. Uh, really, if I was black, I'd be playing something like a F5 here, but you know, who really knows what Walter's thinking? Interesting point. <laughs> Looks like Tyler doesn't even know he's in check. What just happened there, Mr. W? Uh, he took a pawn. Interesting. <laughs> looks, looks like he gave the pawn right back there, Walter. <laughs> he seems to be breaking a little bit of a sweat there. It's because it's incredibly warm in this room. I would agree. Math classes are a little hot. Can you describe what Walter just did there? He took a pawn. Great move, Walter. <laughs> so who do you think has the advantage at this point in the game? Oh, I would definitely take Walter's position. Uh, I think uh, if we were to put this into Fritz, Fritz would say that Walter's probably up uh, two to two and a half. That's okay. a close one right now. That's not close. Walter snags another pawn from Tyler. Hey, I'm glad you're catching on. I would like to inform all of our viewers at home that all of our analysis is done without computer analysis. Okay. Hey. Now what? Can you respond to that one? <laughs> Could it be? Oh, and Walter God. has won it with a checkmate. Game, Walter. Queen to B3. What a wonderful, wonderful game. And I mean wonderful. You know, okay. Walter here proves his dominance over Tyler, who clearly had no idea what he was doing the whole game. Thanks for watching, folks. We'll see you next time. Where's my paycheck? Girls versus Thanks to everyone that helped make it possible. What's up guys, it's Boy Malik, and we already know March Madness coming up, you know, you gotta switch. 16 guys teams, 8 girls teams, okay? Like I said, March 25th, all proceeds go to Relay for Life. If you got any questions, make sure you go ask Mr. Gain, all right? Make sure you guys go support your Lady Sabres, okay? This February 27th, that's this Friday, they got their semi-final regional playoff game, okay? Make sure you go watch them ball out. Check me. Sadly, that's all the time we have for you today. But make sure to check out the orchestra concert tonight at 7 p.m. I'm Jesse. And I'm Race. Have a great Tuesday and a great rest of the week.